All right. So today we're talking to Nelson Riley from Texas Solar. Nelson, thanks for joining us here on the um, on the web conference. And so I know we're just really interested to learn more about your story, about you know where Texas Solar came from, and of course all, all the exciting things that you're doing now and your your product offering. Uh, if you don't mind starting out, tell me you know how how did you first get into solar and how did the business start? Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me on, Joe. I, I really really appreciate it. So. Uh, Texas Solar was started in 2006, uh, so we've been around for a while. Um, we're headquartered in San Antonio, Texas, and install throughout the great state of Texas. So if you get mail in Texas, we'll install. We have uh, installation crews strategically placed throughout the state, uh, service technicians as well. So uh, we love what we do. Uh, I consider myself a solar geek. Uh, I came by solar because I wanted it for my house about four years ago. And uh, uh, through the sales process, I actually fell in love with solar and um, have had it on my home now for about four years and, and love it. I love being in control of uh, the means of production. I know I'm, I'm never going to stop using electricity. So it's wonderful to know, you know, what I'm producing is, is mine to keep. Yeah, hundred percent. And I would say, you know, same thing with me. You know, I I would call myself a solar geek, and and I you know I believe in having the technology. I I believe in having it ever before I was ever in the business of doing anything. You know, for for profit purposes. But uh, I I just like because it's it's one of those technologies that gives people more control over their lives. And if you can take control of your energy situation, you know, that's a big part of your life. And so I I really like it for that reason. Now. I understand that, that Texas Solar is a veteran-owned business, but did, did you serve yourself? Yes, sir. I served for six years, um, and that's actually how I ended up in, in San Antonio. I was stationed here and fell in love with the with the Alamo City and, and stuck around, and our ownership uh, are veterans as well. Yeah, so uh, San Antonio is known as a military city, so we're really proud to, to give back to, to those that served as well. That's excellent. Now, did, did you have a chance to use any solar when you were in the service? I know that, you know, towards the later end of the uh, of the Iraq and Afghanistan operations, uh, solar was being used at some of the former forward operating bases in place of uh, diesel generators. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That that was, uh, I actually uh, separated in 2005. And so I saw some of those deployments actually happening where solar is, is now a much larger part. Actually, when I go to the VA, here in San Antonio, they have uh, solar carports over the entire parking lot. So it's it's really nice to see. All right. Well, so tell us how Texas Solar is running today. Now, I understand you guys you guys do everything in house. Is that correct? Yeah. So uh, we don't subcontract anything. Everyone who works for Texas Solar is a, a full time employee. Uh, we currently have about two hundred employees. And uh, we pace about 400 project installations per month. And so, as I mentioned before, uh, that means if you're if you're in Texas, a homeowner or a business owner, and you want solar, uh, we'll go to you. Whether it's deep East Texas, down in Rio Grande Valley, uh, the Texas Panhandle, or far West Texas, there's there's no place too far. That's great. And, and it sounds like you're having tremendous success here. So where, where, where do you see the business going in the next, say, three to five years? Yeah, I, I just see it continuing to grow. Um, uh, Texas is seeing an influx of, uh, of folks coming into the state. Um, many of those are from California. So I know that uh, those are forward thinking folks. And so I think as uh, utility prices continue to increase, solar adoption is going to 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 outpace that tremendously. So I think the future is very, very bright here with Texas Solar. Uh, again, we've been around since since 2006. We, we, we know solar. And uh, yeah, we, we've increased, um, I guess over the last three years, uh, we had about a 2000% uh, growth. We were actually named Inc. 5000's uh, fastest growing company in Texas. Uh, 11th fastest in the in the nation. So we're, we're really proud of, of where we've been and are excited about where we're going. That's great. Well, congratulations. That's a tremendous feat. As you know, solar is a highly competitive industry, and, and it sounds like you guys really have got a formula that, that's working for you. 
I mean, if you could share with the audience, what, what would you say has been your, your keys to success in this highly competitive uh, business? I think customer communication is key. Uh, so we, we have folks in, in house that uh, keep the, the customer informed throughout the entire process. As you know, a solar installation is, is it's a big job. Uh, there's multiple facets of that. So, you know, when it comes to drop shipping uh, equipment, for example, we, we coordinate with, with the homeowner and let them know, hey, this is when the shipment's supposed to be there. We're going to be there to receive that. Please have your driveway clear, you know, and all the way through the installation process to, to PTO. So I, I really think that it's doing it right the first time. A big part of that is uh, communicating. Yeah, just just having that open line of communication. percent. No, that's great. That's great to hear. So let's let's shift gears a little bit now. Um, as you know, the, the solar technology landscape is, is constantly evolving too, and, and the competition on the manufacturer equipment side uh, is also, you know, highly highly competitive. Um, what are you seeing now with some of the, the exciting new products and offering, and what, what's really changed as far as solar on the technology side this year? I'm really excited about the IQ8, uh, the Enphase IQ8 microinverter uh, that offers, you know, a, an off-grid solution even without a battery backup. So that's really exciting. We're thrilled to be, you know, we, we have that in stock. Um, folks in Texas love it. Uh, I've actually considered uh, upgrading my home. I've got the IQ6, so you know I'm thinking, hey, when I when it's time to, to get a new roof, it'd be wonderful to uh, when they put the panels back up, go go with the IQ8, so that I have that that option of the uh, the sunlight backup. That's great. Yeah, now this is the first time I've seen it to where you can have backup power without a battery. Although I know SMA. Years ago, I used to install these SMA, uh, it was called Secure Power Supply, where you, you basically had like a single outlet you could run directly off the panels. Yeah. But now you're talking about running multiple circuits, home office, television, the internet, yeah. you know, a, a, a real legitimate backup for the house with no batteries required. Correct. Up to four circuits. Of course, you need the load control, but it, I mean, it's four circuits. That's fantastic. You, you know, that's critical load. Uh, are you seeing more Texans now choosing to, to do a battery backup with their solar to, to protect from this kind of grid, you know, grid outage or grid instability? Absolutely, Joe. I, I think everyone that comes to us uh, asks the question about the battery. Uh, I think the adoption rate is going to continue to grow. Um, and I, we're really excited. We've got the stores power uh, battery solution as well. Um, we're rolling that out with the uh, AI plus 50 amp. Uh, just to kind of start out, uh, that's about a 10 kilowatt hour battery. So it's it's a phenomenal, phenomenal battery choice. We think it's best in the market. Um, so we're thrilled to offer that. And I think the adoption rate has been tremendous. So tell us tell us a little bit more about the stores power battery. We, we just started offering it in a handful of states about two months ago. Uh, but what, what really differentiates the store battery and who would that be best for? What type of homeowner? You know, I think anyone, just like you mentioned, we had the the, the great blackout la last year. Uh, we lost power for a full week here in, in, at my house. So, you know, while I have solar on my home, I didn't have the, the ba battery backup or generator. So, of course, I knew when the sun was shining, I was producing solar power, but I couldn't utilize that. So I think it, go it runs the gamut. So everyone from on grid, planning to stay completely on grid, just to have that battery backup whenever the, the grid is is down to even folks who live off grid. So out in the Texas Hill Country, we have folks that uh, that want to choose to live an off grid lifestyle, uh, a low impact lifestyle. And it's it's a fantastic solution for those folks as well. So I think it truly covers all the bases. So you That's have a, a 12 kilowatt hour continuous power a 20 kilowatt hour peak. You've got a 15 year warranty on this deal. It's it's just a, it's a game changer. It truly is. Yeah, no, one of the things that I've noticed since I got started with solar, when I got started, I, I was doing off grid systems only. And it was typically hunting cabins or like a, you know, survival retreat, that sort of thing. And now to see technology become more mainstream and more manufacturers getting involved with it, 
Um, what, what would you say is your percentage now of, of your new, new clients? What percentage are choosing now to have some kind of battery storage with the solar? Absolutely, Joe. I, I think we're, we're up to 25% now that choose to have some sort of battery, even if it's a small critical load battery, all the way up to a whole home system. Uh, 25% currently, and I see that, that number growing. That's great. Yeah, because it used to be, I know it used to be like less than five or 10%. If you took a look at nationwide solar, it was mostly just, you know, going solar for the, for the savings, not so much for the backup. So I'm glad that there's, you know, frankly, that people are becoming more aware that there's, there's a way that you can actually take control and protect yourself from these kind of, you know, these kind of grid outages. Absolutely. We have a lot of customers that are coming back to us that we installed solar for, you know, even a couple of years back they're now requesting us to, to add battery backup. So we're more than happy to do that as well. So, you know, it's not only new customers that are coming to us, it's folks that have had solar on their home for, for years and are now saying, hey, look, the battery technology is, is finally to a point, the price has come down to where it's affordable. It just, it makes good sense to do so. And now with this, with this st stores battery you mentioned, is that something that can be used to retrofit battery backup for people like yourself that already have already have a grid tied solar system? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Fantastic product just for that as well. That's great. That's great. Well, what, what about on the solar panel side? Have there been any interesting developments recently down there on the solar panel availability and technology? Sure. So we love the Aptos 440. That's a 440 watt uh, solar panel. It's a, it's a powerhouse. It's beautiful, black on black. It looks fantastic on the roof or even on a ground mount. Uh, and it just pumps out a ton of power. Uh, it's got a fantastic industry leading 30 year warranty on it. So we're thrilled, uh, made in Silicon Valley. And of course we have Mission Solar uh, that we offer as well, made right here in San Antonio down the street from me. So we love what they're doing as well. That's great. So, so the Mission Solar is a made in, made in USA product, and I guess made right there in Texas. Um, what, yes, what, what kind of power ratings are you seeing on the Mission Solar panels now? Uh, we like the 415 watt panel. 415. Okay. Yes, and then the Aptos are going up to 440 for the, the that's 144s. Right. Um, that's great. That's great. So are, are, these, are both of these 72-cell uh, form factor panels, or is, is the Mission a 66-cell? They're okay. 72. Yes, sir. 72. They're both 72. So everything's everything's bigger in Texas, right? That's right. <laughs> no, I, I just, I know when, when we were installing, generally we, we didn't like to use the 72 cells for the roof mounts just because it was a little bit more cumbersome, especially if there was a high wind area, a little bit more cumbersome getting up and down the ladder. So we sure. would only use, them, only use them for ground mounts. But I guess you guys have got a good system for doing that. You're definitely going to boost your power output. I mean, those four four. That's that's large for a residential module. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you should see our installers. They're they're the big big guys. They're they're muscle bound. They they just haul those suckers right up the ladder, no problem. So, I'm 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 proud to have them on the team. That's awesome. Well, listen, Nelson. That that's really all I had to, to discuss today. I really thank you for taking the time. I know you've got a very very busy, busy schedule as well, so I thank you for taking the time uh, talking with our audience about what's going on in Texas and with your company. Uh, and if it's okay with you, perhaps from time to time throughout the year, we can get on if there are new product offerings or just new information that we should be getting out there uh, as far as you know what's what's available. Yeah, I would love that, Joe. So we we have new product offerings quarterly. So, you know, as you know, the solar industry is a rapidly evolving industry. So it's always exciting to see the, the new products. And as always, you know, we're, we're going to try to make sure that we keep up to date with all the latest products and all the latest industry news to make sure that you, if you're in the process of going through uh, going solar or just deciding whether solar is the right, you know, the right investment for you, want to make sure that you can have the best information available to make your decision. Well, folks, as always, thanks again for watching the Solar Surge channel. I'm Joe Ordia, as always, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. And we'll see you on the next video.